Earlier, I showed a couple of works about adding liquid hydrocarbons to a downdraft wood gasifier. But that video was lost. So, I made a new one to focus on this subject. Here I will show you the relevant patent. It is a different work with the same essence. If you have any liquid hydrocarbons, fuel oil, heating oil, waste oil, etc., you can inject up to 70% by weight of it into a downdraft wood gasifier. In this case, the gasification process will go the same way as with ordinary wood. Nothing will particularly change, the amount of tar will not increase, and no other side processes will begin. But the caloric value of gas will increase threefold up to 3,300 kilocalories. Now it will be necessary to fill up the gasifier's chip hopper several times less often than before. I remember my first firewood-powered Lada. I used to stop every 25 minutes on the highway because I was running out of fuel and had to add it. I designed a pellet gasifier for a man truck. The plan was to place two 200-liter barrels with waste oil under the bottom and inject oil into the downdraft gasifier. This way, the truck could travel about 600 kilometers on one load of pellets. The previous video showed a scheme of injecting liquid hydrocarbons directly into one of the tuyeres with a nozzle. The current scheme has a slightly different solution. Besides, I must tell you that chopped plastic waste and bags mixed with wood will give the same effect, and you will not have to do anything. Maybe someone will be interested in this method. Let's look at Comrade Melamed's patent filed on June 9, 1948. Mounting the tank to the gasifier wall heats the fuel to a liquid state. The amount of hydrocarbons entering the firebox is regulated by the faucet shown in the figure. As I understand, the faucet is connected to the mixer and the pedal, when the driver accelerates, the faucet opens. As I understand, the description of the patent refers to figure 1. Figure 2 was shown as an alternative version for liquid hydrocarbon pyrolysis. I also showed a third deeply tested and researched method where hydrocarbons were injected directly into one of the gasifier tuyeres. The design is simple. There is a liquid hydrocarbons tank mounted on a wall of the outer gasifier casing. Not all hydrocarbons keep liquid at different temperatures. Some viscous fuel oils and other fuels solidify at negative temperatures. Engineer Melamed insists that the temperature of the fluid entering the pyrolysis zone should not be lower than 700 to 800 degrees. This is usually a sufficient temperature to distill most plastics and hydrocarbons and squeeze the maximum amount of gas out of them. The higher the temperature, the more gas with less liquid and carbon residues is obtained. Liquid hydrocarbons flow or rather fly out like gas through the holes drilled around the annular tube shown in the diagram as number 4. According to the author's idea, the device should work as a carburetor economizer. But again, you just have to mix wood with plastic waste. The effect will be the same. See you soon.